Hi, my name is Gregory Scargill. Today I'm going to be giving an uh, introduction presentation on BrainScope. BrainScope was founded in 1990. Currently they've received over $27 million in funding from the U United States Department of Defense. They've also had special research uh, awards from GE and the National Football League. Some statistics is every 23 seconds a traumatic brain injury occurs, also called a TBI. The CDC estimates that there are 500 deaths from sports-related traumatic brain injuries each and every year. And BrainScope is creating a brain injury information hub providing actionable data in the palm of the clinician's hand. So let's do a little breakdown here by sport. So as you can see here, um, bicycling actually tops the list. Uh, the blue is all visits, uh, sports and recreation related activities to ERs, hospitals, and the red is actually TBI numbers. So you can see going down from left to right, bicycling tops the list, football, basketball, soccer, and baseball. So TBI is, is really focusing its strategy and, and its technology on the long history of measurement of brain electri electrical activity using EEG technology. EEG was first recorded in humans by the German physiologist and psychiatrist Hans Berger in 1924. Brain electric electrical activity and TBI. So as you can see here, this patient is demonstrating the ease of, of really just putting on the headpiece and also it having connected to a, a small handheld device to be able to, to do the test. Machine learning leveraged to continuously enrich database and enhance algorithms. So what happens is, is after every patient that's been examined, their results are deposited into a centralized database which every time that you test somebody the test is going to evaluate that every single person that's ever been tested and currently there's over 15,000 people and their test to examine and to, to see if there's any kind of uh, inconsistencies that would lead to there being potential for a TBI on the onset of the, the field of play. Sophisticated algorithms utilized in classification system. So there's a lot of uh, proprietary algorithms that are going to show um, brain scope exactly what they're looking for to make the quick determination as they can go ahead and, and train, um, train clinicians that are there, sports doctors and uh, physical therapists that are there on the sidelines when the injury actually takes place, those ones that are doing the initial evaluation. High performance, cost effective hardware. Those are two of the most important pieces of it is if how perf high performance and uh, keeping the cost as low as possible. G again, as we mentioned earlier, just recently, uh, July 23rd, GE and the NFL award BrainScope with further funding. And let's look at some of the investors. So, everywhere from the Maryland. Department of uh, Brain Trust, Clinical Partners, and Development Partners. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you have any further questions about BrainScope, we'd ask that you come and visit us and talk to us at our booth.